All right, so in the last video, we had a little conversation about what to do after you turn the ball over when you're back on defense, because it is a little deflating and you don't want to get over aggressive. You don't want to give up a touchdown. You don't want to force multiply the pain that you're dealing with. But we got ourselves into a good situation because it was one of the very few times where it is a good idea to get super aggressive after turning the ball over on downs. Now we're in second and long before we were in second and short on a previous video. We were in third and long on a previous video, but we haven't been in second and long before. Now, what we want to do on second and long is again. Okay. So here's my, my setup is he kind of quick snaps me, right? He, oh yeah. He kind of comes up and I'm starting to set something up, but he kind of quick snaps me, but what I want to do here is kind of my base defensive look. And that means I'm not going to do base align and make everything look, you know, symmetrical and and kind of give him some easy yardage. I'm just going to call my base defense and try to see what's good against his base offense. And if he gets five, six yards, we have to live with that. If we get an incompletion, we're very happy with that. We can go to that base align defense and um, but if he gets to about third and 10, we're just going to kind of play straight up. And, and sometimes you do have to play straight up. Sometimes you play a little bit more conservative. You play a little bit more aggressive. But there are situations where you just want to play straight up defense. And um, here we're kind of okay with a run. 10-yard runs, not that big of a deal. So we're playing straight up with an air of like, okay, we're, we're, we're thinking pass here. But we are going to be aware of the run. But... We are thinking more of a pass on second and long, um, but we're going to be aware of the run. So that's kind of it's it's second and 21 is play straight up defense, but kind of think like they're going to pass. OK, and of course, he does pass, especially against the quality opponent. That was a really bad lurk by me, but thank goodness my. Um, my defenders were just coming in screaming, right? Because um, if I would have stuck to that running back immediately, I could have actually peeled off and lurked this ball myself. But I'm kind of out of position. I'm running like this. So that's that's really important to, to remember as a user. Um, don't get sloppy with your user. Get, get, get fundamentally sound. Get to your assignment. And then you can peel off quicker if you do. Um, because I wasn't able to, I wasn't even able to click on and make a play on it at all with Woolen. It's unfortunate, but it's very fortunate because we get us in third and 21, and now we get to get very aggressive while being with, with our heat, but also being very conservative on the back end of our defense and playing sticks. So we're going to get into that into the next video. And more specifically, we're going to go into kind of how you use her on third and long because we've already gone over how to set up a defense on third and long. Next video, we'll go on to specifically um, make it more centered around usering on third and long. But that being said, guys, make sure you head over to themanacademy.com to get signed up for your first course today. I am guaranteeing it will take your Madden game to the next level, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.